I will say this much about this season of the shy going into season three. Uh, I'll say this much. They had just as many episodes outside of the show as they had with the actual show. And this season has been interesting to say the least. But all right, let me talk about something else uh, that's pertaining to this season, season three of the shot. Now, as you guys know, there were some things that happened outside of the show that led to people being fired, certain characters being rode out of the show. So, you know, um, well, they decided to add some new characters as they write characters out they write characters in now a new addition to season three is la la anthony coming off you know the power series and we all know that her character lakeisha was killed off the show and that's cool for la la to basically go from power to the shy now she plays a you know she her character is basically a cook or a chef who basically doesn't have a business license to, you know, start her own business. So basically what she does, she operates out of her house. She has a underground restaurant operating out of her house. So basically she links up with the Emmett character played by Jacob Lattimore. And you kind of wonder what's going to happen with those two characters you already know Emmett's character what type of dude he is so you pretty much believe more than likely they're going to end up screwing around and you will be surprised if they don't end up screwing around but nevertheless you're sort of anticipating it but that's a storyline that's kind of cool keep in mind uh Jake Lattimore's character is maybe at best 18, 19, 20. So, you know, this is an interesting uh, storyline. Of course, Lala's character is older than him, you know. But nevertheless, um, since Lala has came to the show, she's been getting it from fans, basically, about her character and her acting skills and stuff. Because, you know, keep in mind, a lot of people didn't like her acting skills on power. And I think she had a short stint on 91210, the reboot, if I'm not mistaken. But nevertheless, that show I heard got canceled. Didn't have no interest in watching that show. But nevertheless, people are complaining about her character and her acting on on season three of The Shy. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. It was funny. La La responded saying, hey, she got a job. Now, I'll say this much about Lala Anthony's character. Well, she's a, a lot better actress than Tiffany Haddish. Compared to Tiffany Haddish, Lala Anthony looks like Meryl Streep. For real. Or, or you know what I'm saying, for real. Or Sally Field. That compared to, because Tiffany Haddish cannot act worth shit. You know, as far as Lala Anthony go, as far as her range go, well, this, hey, this is her range. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she's going to be, you know, doing Hamlet anytime soon or, you know, for real. Sometimes you got to stick with your limitations, what you best at doing. I think, you know, she's, you know, she's getting into the acting thing. You know, she started off as a TV, TV personality. You know, and then, you know, the acting thing came later. So at the end of the day, she's basically doing roles that she's comfortable doing, you know. So I don't have a problem with her acting. I mean, she her acting fits into the type of character she plays. Like I said before, it get at times it get unbearable to watch Tiffany Haddish act. You know. It's just certain movies where it just get un just get unbearable. You can't even stand to watch Tiffany Haddish act in some of the movies that she she plays in. That's why Tiffany Haddish have had, you know, a string of bombs. And that's just real talk. So my take on this, Lala Anthony ain't the worst actress out there. It's 
some people that's way worse than her. But nevertheless, just wanted to give my opinion on that. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.